Hello and welcome back to our full garden transformation in Troll near Taunton. We've had an absolute stormer of a project so far. We've cleared overgrown thickets, we've dug the pond, we've created a mini meadow, we've got the intake bay almost in and we've rocked half the pond. Access is tight but we're ploughing on through. So let me take you on a journey for the next stage of construction and see how this one comes to life. Good afternoon. Back out here in Troll. The uh, scorching sun's been coming down. I think we're due for some really nice weather for the next week or two, so that's great after the rain and horrible weather we've had. The site's dried really well. We've got on uh, superbly well. Like I said we, before, we've got our wetland in. The whole bottom, uh, apart from a few little gaps in these rocks, are start, have done and ready to go. Um, and I'll give you a, a spin and show you what, what we've done. Ah, oh, it's nice to see some sunshine. So, oh, I'll go in the shade so we can see. So we've got these, this little setup here. So this is our intake bay. You might remember from the other video or, or, or earlier on. That's where our vault is sat in there. We've actually got this limb coming across there. Where the level is sat is our water level. So alongside our waterfall, that's gonna come in from our wetland with all our lovely plants and gunners and things. We've got a couple of circulation jets. There's one already down there. There's gonna be a couple more throughout here, pushing all the water to this one space. And actually, that's where our water's gonna sit. So what it'll do, it's always gonna constrict through that one space. It's gonna rip over that log and then there'll be a nice little eddy there with all the leaves and debris and things to collect. So, you yeah, know, we've really tried to work in this nice log. We're gonna get a nice little planting pocket into that space there. And we might even bring out the patio around just to create this little bit more sinuous shape to fit into this lovely setting. So I'll check in with you guys soon. So yeah, you can see it's pretty scorching today. Oh yeah, really, really hot. As you can see, we're getting on really well. We've got most of this side rocked in. This lovely stump over there. John and the lads now are just working on uh, after we set the, the big uh, 1.75 ton rock just in this uh, cove here. We've got our pipe work and things going in up there. Right, right in the far distance, we've got our Gunner a pocket, so that's going to be really quite special. Really nice big plant in there, I think really quite fantastic, especially with the stump in there. And then we're working around behind where Mark is here on the constructed wetland, getting some rocks in there, really creating a nice little similar shape. Lots of different planting areas again. So, uh, yeah, I'll jump over there now and uh, crack on with that and check in with you guys soon. So there you have it, end of a, another smashing day. The sun has been beating down on us, but it's been glorious. And we've had all, an awful lot of fun, haven't we, John? Certainly have, mate. Clients have just uh, brought us out a little bit of a cider, and actually they're gonna cook us a little bit of food as well. So what a, uh, what a compliment to us. Yeah, thank, thank, thank you very much to uh, Steve and Sandra for that. Really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, we've basically rocked in all of the wetland. We've got our wetland waterfall rocked in and smashed on which looks epic so then tomorrow we'll be coming in 
a little bit of tidying up in the in the distance behind the machine and actually we're going to start on our waterfall a bit different to what we normally do because of the access issues and things we have because obviously the, the pond is still going to be expanded into this space here so we're actually going to start sort of our second waterfall up and work our way up to our nice little sinuous waterfall and i think we're due for some even hotter weather so yeah we'll check in with you then cheers guys back here just outside Taunton in Troll we have had a good start to the week we've had a couple of days of really scorching weather it's been up to sort of 30 or uh, the uh, weather apps and things have been saying it feels like 33 34 so it's been uh, definitely vest weather and uh, lots of sun cream and water but we've uh, smashed on really well we've got the from the intake bay all the way around to here where the stump is and actually all the way around the wetland below me here all wrapped up and ready to go. We've uh, been working on getting some more of our pathways in, which I haven't shown you too much of because it's really boring stuff, but yeah, the pathways are now in. This is our crushed stone, our buff, buff crushed stone, which goes down really, really well. Uh, it gives you that sort of nice feel, a nice sort of sturdy base to walk on. So we've planted all these last night, or yesterday, should I say, these different firs and things in back over there. And, uh, and this morning we'll be finished off grading off this, getting these taxes in where I am below me here. Then we'll have, we'll be able to then link this path up where that dumpy bag is, back round this corner, and this will be joining up to the path just below me here. This one down here, and then be going that way, and then it'll be coming down here. So as I was saying, that path then is going to come round here right out wide giving us a nice terrestrial planting space through here round to here joining up to this path and then that one will then that board's going to kick back a bit more and as that one comes round it's going to be a nice arc down and then a gentle slope down all the way down past our wetland which is over here our waterfall to be built which is going in here five meter waterfall over sort of a meter meter elevation change which would be lovely and then this is our finished grade for our bridge stone. So then that's where our patio is going to sit. Ignore that one between there and there. So we'll have one st step up coming across the front of the space here, which will be the same line as this. So there'll be a nice, there'll be one step up onto the platform, and then you'll step up again. So actually, by the time We've, we've brought up the grade to this, you're going to be up about 250 mil from where we are now. It actually gives you a really nice view to look down into the pond and see everything else. And actually obviously the slopes of the garden and things. Intake bay's ready to go, apart from the overflows and things ready to go and the pipe work to be connected. I'll be doing that soon. And then basically a little bit of busting up around here. We've got our boggy beach that's going to go into here. This is going to be backdropped with some nice boulders. I've got another route that I think I'm going to put into this corner. So you can actually bring the patio around it and then planting in front, maybe some plants behind as well to add some more interest. Then some nice boulders into here. And then we'll be bringing our flagstone patio right up to the edge of it so you can then look down across to the rest of the pond. We'll come right tight into here and then actually you're going to then dig out another section into here, all the way around there to there. This is going to be like a little back eddy of the pond, just to just add another little fe feature or a little bit of interest. Where are then streams going to come down into? Actually, I've got a nice little water lily, I want to say little, 30 litre water lily to go into this. <coughs> Excuse me. And then, as I said, our bridge stone is going to come across here and then it will work away up there. Actually, I might just take you down and see the bridge stone now. So here it is, it's just shy of two metres long and about a metre 20 wide, about 300 thick. Really nice stone. It's got some sort of browns and almost purpley browns in it. Some creams and buffs and things which will really blend in well into the space and give a lovely platform to then traverse the pond on both sides. So that side and that side will be pond. 
and then there'll be a waterfall over there when we see it and then you'll lead your way up to the path and things. Happy days. Good morning. Back at it today. It's an exciting day because we get to create a waterfall. So we have our area prepared, sand down, fleece underneath the liner, another piece of fleece there ready, or well, the second waterfall, sorry, is ready to go. Uh, I've got picked out of the stones and hopefully that's going to work in really well. We're doing this a little bit differently to normal actually because we have to basically create our waterfall from here up to the top before we then actually dig the additional bit of our pond down here. So normally we would rock in all the pond and then we'd start from the bottom of the pond and start with that waterfall and work our way up. But because of the access to the site, now we, we've obviously worked ourselves into a bit of a, a, an area. So all the paths, planting, everything else is done up there. This path's then going to join to here. Come down in front of me here with our bridge stone going to be set down in here. So we're going to start from the second waterfall here and work our way up. Once that's all done, then we can close off our access, get this path into here, dig that bit of the pond, get the bottom waterfall in, get our bridge stone in, work out our levels for our patio and work our way out of the property. Yeah, so we're coming on really well and I'm really excited about starting to, to, to create this waterfall which is going to obviously be the, uh, the masterpiece of the, the property although there's so much interest and things going on already. We got this lovely acer in yesterday. This part of the nice little mottled shadow over the pond as well as uh, yeah, there's all the other trees and things that are going to be going in in the berm behind me. So stay tuned. Good afternoon, so we are absolutely getting on very well. Uh, we are, <laughs> access is now becoming a bit of an issue, so we've got our waterfall cascading down behind me. Our joining paths are now connected, and then we've got obviously the other one coming down here, which is going to join with the bridgestone. So I'm at the moment standing where the bridgestone is going to go, with our patio bringing up to grade through here. So yeah, we're going to be a little bit higher, probably the same height as the track actually up here as we then can traverse across the pond, leading our way up to the garden and the lovely little mini arboretum the, the clients have created and we've helped that bring to life. I popped in a few specimen plants up here as well. We've got this lovely acer, this weeping juniper and the little cryptomeria at the top as well. And uh, so I'll show you the waterfall. So at the moment we've got this lovely sheet star a little trip dripple over this side of the rock as well coming down here so I'm working its way up we've got a nice space in here now where we're going to put some plants and really soften those edges up got a nice light that's going to cast up to this pinch falls that's coming through between here so that's going to gargle through there really into this pool section before it comes down we work our way up I'm going to do a little secret falls that's going to be coming through this little area here that's just going to be a little veil that's coming through there working our way back up we've got this uh, sheet style here as well, it's going to come across the front of that, sorry my shadow's in the way and yeah just this natural high spot so it's going to come through that smashing through this really gnarly rock and giving that really cool waterfall so it then winds up to where that stump is and then we're going to get this really cool split falls that's going to come round this rock and this rock over there so yeah we've uh, had a fantastic day, a little bit of more edge work to do and a bit of tidying up in these areas and uh, so yeah our, our binding stain's gone down really well a little bit more to be brought in and uh, a little bit of tidying up you can see a hue of green up there which is the weeds that are going to come up so we'll get rid of them before our wildflower turf goes down and it's starting to really come together wetlands pretty much finished ready to go a little bit of edge work again but mainly just planting and tidying up Going around here our waterfall 
coming into the back into the pond and then tomorrow so I was just over there so our Bridgestone's going into this location here uh, the bottom of our waterfall is going to be there and we're actually going to dig back the pond this way back round and into here just to give another little bit of interest and then yeah so then the, the, you can sort of traverse over the pond and work your way up to the rest of the garden with our patio grade sort of coming into here past this lovely acer it's got some really nice tips to its foliage to our intake bay so it's going to be all coming through this gnarly log that's jammed in and uh, so this will be then become a boggy beach into this space here. We've got Saracenas, we've got Astilbees, we've got all sorts of fun things going in there. We've got some Toadalies as well. Grey's going to be coming up slightly here, across here. So this will be one level where I am at the minute. And then you'll step up here, come into there, be able to then look right down through the beach to the rest of the pond and the rest of the waterscape up there. Really chuffed with progress. We are very, very close and it's uh, getting quite exciting. Good afternoon, back with a post-lunch update. So we're now working on the beach area just into here. We have now got our sinuous path coming down to our Bridgestone. So it's really nice to sort of be able to work your way up around our paths and things, around back around the garden and the little arboretum and things. So we'll be bringing grade up into here where our patio will be sitting with a few little planting pockets and things. We'll then be buttoning this up through here and actually this space then is going to become our beach area, boggy beach. We're going to have loads of different assortment of plants in here. So then we're going to dig our, our little dimples into the, the earth where our line will then sit down and in. And we've actually got a nice root to sit somewhere into here. So we're going to crack on, get that piece of root in there. And, uh, and then yeah, get our little areas for our uh, different planting pockets. So this is our stump. We've just nicked a little bit off the back to get it nice and flush in situ. And we're going to have this leg or fl root flare going right up against one of the other rocks on that side. This one coming out onto the beach as well with water levels sat. So it's actually just all those sort of gnarly bits are just underwater, but the crown of it coming up. And I've just sprayed out some few planting areas here. Again, very similar to other projects we've done. We're just going to dig a s s shallow depression in these where we can bring in some aquatic soil or, or different um, types of substrate depending on the types of plants. Yeah, so we're going to be having sort of Saracenas in here, which is a carnivorous plant. We're going to have some marsh orchids as well. We've managed to get to, to source um, sustainably from a, from a guy who's actually um, growing them from seeds in tissue culture. We have some maybe some, some iris in here growing around the root. Might even think about putting a, a pygmy lily in here, which would be kind of sweet because it's going to be in about sort of 15 centimetres of water. And then, you know, an assortment of different plants creeping around and doing their thing. You know, the, uh, the Tenella, which is one of my favourites as well, the Bog Pimpernel will just spread through and has that lovely pink flower. So yeah, it's coming together really well. Last little push now, before we start bringing in our sub base and actually start working on our patio. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, that's beautiful. It's very natural. Yeah, good. Yeah, I feel so well, I think. Thank you. That's a nice pleasure. 